doubloons and pieces of eight handed down to Applegate from buccaneers who fought for years for gold doubloons and pieces of eight handed down in a pirate's chest the gold they sailed for east and west the treasure bright that made men fight till none were left to bury the chest so now the gold and pieces of eight all belong to Applegate the chest is here but wait now, where are those gold doubloons and pieces of eight, pieces of eight, pieces of eight? Today's episode in the mystery of the Applegate treasure, Applegate's gold. your detective friends can wait for a couple of eggs. Well, at least you don't have to drive me to the station. I should have gone back to the city last night. Oh, how could you with all that business of the boys at the Applegates? I don't know what kind of a case in the city is more important than your own family. No, no, job's a job. Nothing to steam about. Dad? Hmm? What's going to happen to Perry Robinson? Well, that plumber Jackley's being pretty nice about it. Doesn't want to prefer charges. I suppose he'll stay at Sanders a couple days while they investigate. But look here. I'm afraid that no matter what happens, the boy will be sent back to the city. Applegate's too steamed up about this to let him stay on. Guilty or not guilty. Well, if you ask me, Silas Applegate just wants somebody to mow his lawn for nothing. Well, that's no concern of ours, Gertrude. Couple of days. That's long enough. Sure. We got time. Time for what? Time to solve the case so Perry won't have to go back to the city. Now, boys, I told you before, I don't want you getting mixed up in it. Well, there's whole angles you don't even know about, Dad. This looks like the beginnings of a real mystery. Oh, dear. We got a real client and everything. Client? If you mean Perry Robinson. Now, look, boys. Before I go, I want to know what you're getting into. What kind of a mystery is well, this? We'd, we'd rather not say right now, Dad. I mean, you know, it's not ethical for a detective to tell other people about his cases. Now, it? son, for gosh sakes. Job's a job. No reason to get all skiing up about it. Hey, goodbye, Fenton. Bye, Dad. So long. Goodbye. Now, boys. Suppose that we just... Well, we can't tell you either, Aunt Gertrude. Come on, Joe. We gotta get going. Now, look, if you boys think that you're going someplace where you shouldn't... You promise you won't tell where we are? Well, maybe. The public library. <laughs> There's pictures in this one, and they're money. <clears throat> Let me see it again. I wish this was as exciting as that movie was. Because then the rustler started to dig under the floor of the cabin and... There, look. It's a, it's a face, isn't it? Man's head. Yeah, but... Look! King Ferdinand the Seventh. Who? Hey, it's the same! Look, it says... Ancient Spanish doubloon. Du doubloon? Doubloon? Doubloon. Well, well. I'm sorry you always make so much noise, Miss Snodgrass. And pieces of eight. Aren't you interested in those two? Huh? What do you mean? Fifteen men on a dead man's chest. Oh, yes, indeedy. That's what a doubloon is. 
Pirate gold. Oh, well, we were just leaving, Miss Snodgrass. Now, 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 don't let me interfere. I just heard you over here looking up doubloons, and I must say I think it's wonderful. Huh? For the Hardy Boys, I mean. Such a welcome change from those vulgar mysteries you usually come in to look at. The art of fingerprinting, crime detection. But pirates make such nice reading, don't you think? Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. Uh, Miss Snodgrass, uh, how much do you think a, a doubloon would actually be worth today? Oh, I really couldn't say. A great many dollars, I should think. Why? Oh, nothing. Never mind. Of course, you could ask Mr. Applegate. Huh? <laughs> Mr. Applegate? <laughs> I'm sorry, boys. It just struck me funny. You stay with the encyclopedia. It tells the truth. What? Never mind. It's just an old private joke. I guess the Applegate treasure is dead and buried by this time. Applegate treasure? What's that supposed to be? Well, you worked for him a few days, and we figured you might know something about it. Well, look out, you're standing on the snake. Oh, a little snake. It's that thing he's turning, silly. It's used to clean out pipes. Roots and stuff get stuck in them in these old places. Now, what's this malarkey about a treasure? Well, it's just an expression we heard. Oh, you did? Well, of all the guys I ever met who don't have a treasure, Applegate's the most. Pinch penny little skin flint. Sour apple juice, I call him. Well, this estate don't mean anything. It's just a run-down, unpainted white elephant. Why, he's harder up than I am. <laughs> Somebody's been kidding you, boys. Well, thanks anyway, Mr. Jackley. For what? I didn't tell you anything. But um, if I was you boys, I'd ask some old-timer. You know, the way I figure it, that Applegate treasure is just a great big local joke. <laughs> Something that just plain never was. <laughs> No such thing? Of course there's no such thing. Silas Applegate hasn't seen any more pirate's gold than I have. Are you sure, Eddie? Of course I'm sure. Then what was the treasure supposed to be? I really don't see why children should know everything. Unless it has something to do with your mystery case. Well, has it? Maybe we'd better find out things for ourselves. Oh, I'm not going to pry anything out of you. It's just that the Applegates have always claimed that they inherited pirate's gold, that's all. But nobody's ever seen it except them. And why? Because there isn't any such thing, that's all. That's the phone, Junior. Don't worry, that's all there is to it. Hello? Yeah? I hope you're not too disappointed. No, I'm just kind of baffled, that's all. Because, Annie, you see, everybody laughs only. Only what? Frank? Frank, come here! Frank, it's him, Barry. Well, ask him where he got that thing. Everybody starts laughing. It's the first chance he had to call. He says Mr. Sanders wouldn't even let him out of the house. Hello, Perry? Tell me quick, has that thing got anything to do with Applegate? Where? Just a minute. Yeah? Three steps beyond the... Yeah, go on. And a few inches down in the dirt. I was just starting to dig up some weeds, and there it was. Then old Applegate came snooping outside. I never had another chance before I got in trouble over there. Well, we're gonna look some more, because who cares what anybody else thinks? If we know there's at least one real doubloon... Doubloon? Is that really what it is? Wow. Listen, wait. Don't go looking in the daytime. He'll catch you. Look, we're gonna wait until nighttime. We're not gonna get caught. I mean, we wouldn't get caught dead getting in any trouble.
don't see any old sprinkler faucet around here. Be quiet. Must be around the corner. Come on. Tomorrow's episode, Dig for Treasure.